In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a cutlery knife. Change the view to the front view. Change the view from perspective to orthographic. In the view menu, display the properties panel. Scroll down. Tick background images. Click the black triangle. Click add image. Scroll down. Click open. Go to the folder where you have the knife image. You can download it from my website. Open image. Change the shading to wireframe. Scroll down. Set the rotation of the background image to 90. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and click the triangle to alter the X position of the background image. Click on the value and set it to minus 1.47 and enter. Drag to close the properties panel. Drag to make the properties window wider. Click the object properties. Now we have a selected object called cube. Go into edit mode. Press X to delete and delete all the vertices of the cube. We still have an object with a center point but with no vertices. I'm going to rename the object knife and start adding some vertices. Shift and mouse wheel to pan down. To add a vertex, hold down the control key and if you haven't swapped the mouse buttons, it's the left mouse button. Click the button to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. Press E to extrude and click. E to extrude and click. E to extrude and click. Follow the outline. Bigger steps where there's less curvature, smaller steps where there's more. It's important to get the tip of the knife right, so pan down, shift and mouse wheel and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press E to extrude, E to extrude. E to extrude, E to extrude. I want to line up the vertices on the right hand side with the vertices on the left. So I'm going to come across horizontally using the grid lines as a guide and I'm going to control click to add the next vertex. Again come across horizontally and control and click. If I select this vertex, hold down shift and select this vertex, make an edge between them, edges, make edge, notice shortcut key is F. Now I have four edges that will make a quad face, which is the ideal topology for subdivision. Select, shift select, press F to make edge, and because I've lined up the vertices, I'll have quad faces all the way down. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and mouse wheel. Select the end vertex, come across and control click. Come across, control click. Come across, control click. Don't worry if the position isn't perfect. It's easy to fine tune the position afterwards. Scroll, shift and mouse wheel. Come across, control and click. Come across, control and click. And control, click. To fine tune the position of the vertices, select and press G to grab and move the vertex. Select, G, select G and move, pan, shift and mouse wheel. You can also use the arrows of the 3D manipulator widget.
Make edges between the vertices. Select, shift select, F to make edge. Select, shift select, F, and do that all the way down. Jumping ahead, select, shift select, F, select, shift select, F. You can still fine tune the position of vertices. Press A twice to select all. Press F to make face. Change the view to the right view. Press E to extrude, point zero six and enter. Press A twice to select all. G to grab, Y for the Y direction, point zero three and enter. And the Z axis should go through the middle of the blade. Change the view back to the front view. Change shading to solid. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Click the modifiers button. Add modifier subdivision surface. The modifier gives us a nicely shaped blade, but there's a bit of a problem at the bottom where the modifier has rounded off these corners. To solve the problem, click Loop, Cut and Slide. Approach the bottom face from the side and you'll see a purple line. Click to create the loop cut. We can slide that up or down, slide it to the bottom and click. To focus on making the knife handle, press A twice to select all. Mesh, Hide, Hide Selected. Pan, Shift and Mouse Wheel and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Hold down control and click to add the first vertex. Now the knife goes from the thickness of the handle to the thinness of the blade in this region here. So I'm going to press E to extrude and just come down a little way. Press E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude. Shift a mouse wheel to pan, E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude. Shift a mouse wheel to pan, E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude. E to extrude. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Pan, shift and mouse wheel. Press A twice to select all. Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter. Change the pivot point to the 3D cursor. Press R to rotate, Z for the Z axis, 180 and enter. To fine tune the position of the vertices while maintaining symmetry, select a pair of vertices, shift select, make sure the pivot point is the medium point and to fine tune horizontally press S to scale. To fine tune vertically press G to grab Z for the Z axis and move the points. Select pairs of vertices and make edges between them. Select, shift select, F to make edge. Select, shift select, press F. I have jumped ahead. Select, shift select, F. Select, shift select, F. Select, shift select, F. Press A twice to select all. F to make face. Change the view to the right view. Press E to extrude, point two and enter. Press A twice to select all. G to grab, Y for the Y direction, minus point one and enter. Change the view to the top view. 
go into face select mode, select the top face, press S to scale, Y for the Y direction, point 0.4 and enter. Change the view to the front view, click loop cut and slide, come in from the side to the top face, when you see the purple line, click, slide up, click, pan down, shift and mouse wheel, press A to make sure the handle is deselected, in the mesh menu, show hide, show hidden, turn the widget on and use the tip of the blue arrow to fine tune the position of the blade. Go into object mode, change shading to smooth and change the view to perspective. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the image file and the finished model for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk. Click the link for Blender there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.